Hello everyone. Now this is question number five of exercise four point five ICC class nine. Question is twenty seven x cube y cube minus eight. As we already know both the identities which are x cube plus y cube and x cube minus y cube. So this is in the format of three x y whole cube minus two whole cube. And we already know the formula for x cube minus y cube. So it is three x y minus two as the first factor. The second is first term is square that is nine x square y square plus second term square that is four plus the multiplication of two terms that is six x y. So this is the factorization of this. Now if we look at this question, the terms are a bit uh, lengthy. This I can write as three x plus y whole cube, and this can be written as twice of two x minus y. Because we already know that we have the formula for x cube plus y cube, the same formula we apply here. So first term will be twice of x plus y as the first term plus second term that is twice of 2x minus y. So this is the first factor. The second factor will be the square of the first term that is 9x plus y whole square. This is the square of the first term plus. The square of the second term that is four, two x minus y whole square, and then minus the multiplication of two that is minus twelve, two into three into two that is twelve, x plus y as the first term and two x minus y as the second term. So this complete is the factorization of part two of question number five. Now we look at question number six part one. It is a two plus b two plus a plus b. So in this case, a cube plus b cube, we are able to factorize from the formula x cube plus y cube, and then the remaining term a plus b, which we can take now bracket. So if we solve this, it can be written as a plus b with a bracket and a square plus b square minus a. So this is the factorization of a cube plus b cube, and plus a plus b is the remaining term. If we take a plus b as common out of the two, it will come out to be a square plus b square minus ab plus one. So this is the factorization of a two plus b two plus a plus b. Same way we can factorize this because the only difference in this and this part is here is the positive sign and here is the negative sign. So this I can write a two minus b two minus in a bracket I can put it as a minus b. If I factorize this, it is a minus b in the first term and a square plus b square plus ab as the second term minus the another term is a minus b. Again, in this and this term, I can take a minus b common. So a minus b will be taken as common. The remaining will be a square plus b square plus ab minus one. Now we come to question number seven, part one. This question. Is also convertible to this kind of question because there are three terms. So we are sure that if in case we want to apply this identity, we need two terms, not three. And if in case there are four terms, then it is possible at the end to take something common. As there are three terms, we have to convert these three terms into four terms. I can write it as x two plus one plus x plus. One. This two I have divided into two parts, one and one, because if there are three terms, we cannot use this identity. So we have made four terms so that now we can use this identity. This has become x cube plus y cube format, and this is x plus y, which is same as for part two of question number six. So this can be written as x plus one and x square plus one minus x. So this is the formula for x cube plus one, and there is remaining x plus one. We can take in a separate bracket. If we take x plus one common out of the two, it is x square plus one minus x plus one, which can be written as x square minus x plus two and x plus one as the first factor. Same way, in this we have seen there are three terms. So we have to convert these three terms into four terms. There is a negative sign in between. So 
here we know that a is in itself a perfect cube a cube but this 120 is not a cube so if there is a negative sign i can write this negative sign and we have to analyze that which is the right factor or which is a number whose perfect cube is near to this now 120 is already here and the perfect cube of 5 the cube of 5 which is a perfect cube is 125 so i can write 125 in this because minus 125 i have done so definitely i have to add 5 to this so that this and this will compensate and becomes minus 120 so this can be written as a cube minus 5 cube as the first term minus this can be written as a minus 5 which we will take common at the end so it is a minus 5 multiplied by a square plus 25 plus 10, uh, 5 a cube this is the formula the identity a cube minus 5 cube has been solved like this and minus a minus 5 is the remaining term now a minus 5 can be taken as common so the remaining value becomes a square plus 25 plus 5a minus 1 which can be further written as a square plus 5a plus 24 multiplied by a minus 5. So this way we can solve a question we should be able to make either a perfect cube which is very very important otherwise we cannot solve the question. Question number 8 part 1, there are already 4 terms. Now, we have to understand one thing very important that a formula for x plus y whole cube is equal to x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube. As we know that if there are 4 terms, we can write it as x plus y whole cube. So, when we want to solve this question, one thing is very very important that here it is x square and there it is x which is already there in these two terms. Here it is 3 with y and here it is 6. That means that the value of y can be 2 and if we put here also if the value of y is 2 it is 2 square multiplied by 3 that comes out to be 12x. So it is very clear that the value of y or the value of last term must be 2. So we are writing x cube plus 6x square plus 12x plus 8 plus 8. I am writing 2 8's because this is has become a perfect cube and it is basically x plus 2 whole cube plus 8 can be written as 2 cube further. Now if we factorize we can use the same identity it is x plus 2 plus 2 the first term plus the second term as the first factor and the second factor is the square of first term plus the square of second term minus twice 2 into x plus 2 or the multiplication of two terms. When we solve it, it is x plus 4 as the first factor and the second factor we can solve x square plus 4x plus 4 as the square of x plus 2 plus 4 is this minus 2x minus 4. If we further solve it, it is x square plus 2x plus 4 four as this factor and x plus four as the first factor. So this is the uh, solution for first part of question number eight. If we look at the second part, again this is having the same logic as this question. We know that this is 3a square b and this is 3ab square. Here the term is negative and here the term is positive. So instead of x plus y whole cube, we have to apply another formula which is x minus y whole cube which comes out to be x cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y cube. So if we apply this formula and this question, this is minus 2b cube. So we understand that it should be b cube instead of minus 2b cube. So I am writing a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube. Now this has become a perfect cube. Minus b cube is the last term because there are minus 2b cube. So we have distributed into two parts. This can be written as a minus b whole cube and this is minus b cube. Again, we can use the second identity into this. It will come out to be a minus b, the first term, minus 
the second term as the first term as the first factor and first term square plus second term square plus the multiplication of two terms that is a minus b to b so this will come out to be a minus two b as the first factor the second factor will be a square plus b square minus two ab this is a minus b whole square plus b square plus ab minus b square if we multiply a minus b with b b square can be cancelled with b square there is one b square remaining so a minus 2b as the first factor and the second factor is a square plus b square minus ab this will be come out to be as the second factor so in this case we should be able to analyze that how we change it to a perfect square in the next class we will talk about question number 9 onwards if you have any problems you can contact us email us or contact, uh, phone us thank you